What's up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding, but also cooking and nutrition, and I want to show you a lot more about that. So, on my Instagram, at Wesley Vissers, I always show you guys my omelets, my morning omelets for lowering your carbohydrate intake on a day where you actually want to spend the carbohydrates later on a day, or if you simply want a simpler, low carb day. So, let me show you how to make a delicious omelet, how I like to make them, and how to make them taste incredible. Let me get to the cooking. First of all, you gotta have a good pan. This is a flat, non-stick pan. It's great for omelets, it's quite big as well. So the first thing you gotta do is add some pan spray on top. This lowers the calories, but it enhances the non-stick factor of the pan itself. All right. What you also wanna have done, and I shouldn't have put it on before, but you should have it on pretty low heat. It's on the lowest possible heat right there. And this is the temperature that the pan it should be. If it's too hot, the omelet will fail because the bottom will be burned and the top will still be liquid. That's not what we want. The first thing we want to do is actually add some vegetables. And I'm going to add some mushrooms. There are different kinds of mushrooms, but they're very easily to cut up. This is the Dutch word for it. If you guys know what the English word for it is, let me know. But let's add some mushrooms first to stir fry them. Basically let them grill on this pan right there to make sure they have a nice taste already. All right, so this is about 75 grams of mushrooms cooking away, as you can see, starting to get a nice color on them, starting to enhance and release their flavor, and then it's time to add the next vegetable. So this is going to be very easy. This is a spring onion. This gives off a very um, strong flavor, so you only want to add one of these to your omelet, but it enhances the flavor by quite a lot and very easily. I'm gonna cut it up with this once again, making it a very quick meal. Right, all right, now that we have that frying away, you've basically got a couple of options to add your vegetables. You can add bell pepper, you can add tomato, you can add zucchini, just make sure to add vegetables that have low carbs if that is your plan. However, you can also make it a lot easier. Some people just add spinach on top of this, make sure the spinach is actually, you know, releasing its water content, getting less in volume and then adding the eggs. But I'm going to add another vegetable because I want to be full for nice and long as it's early in the day. So let me show you. So what I actually got from a store is um, stir fry vegetables, Italian stir fry vegetables. There's actually already mushrooms in there, spring onion in there, but also a very healthy kale, which is a leafy vegetable. And the volume of this will go down tremendously once you put it in there. So let's take that to the test. There's also some healthy broccoli in there. I personally love it. It's not the most convenient vegetable to put in an omelet, but you can make anything work whether you like it or not. I mean, you can make anything work when you like the vegetable, put it in and you'll see the results. So I actually added about half of this. This is the kale added, some extra mushrooms, some extra spring onions, some extra goodness to this. And you just wait for a little while and it gets a lot less in volume. And I'm also going to add some extra spinach, some leftover spinach, because that uh, goes down in volume quite a lot as well. And I do this because the first one of the day, I want to keep full for like three or four hours. And vegetables really do help with that. And they're all low carb vegetables, but very healthy as they are green vegetables. So make sure to get a big pan to fit all of it in. All right, so with the vegetables frying away, losing their volume a little bit, allow me to add the eggs. I'm actually going to make the eggs for the omelet. And you can do that in a special way. So let me show you how to do that exactly. All right, so here we got the eggs. You actually wanna add four whole eggs and two egg whites. Now, actually, I've got XXL eggs. They don't look, uh, you know, they, I don't know what they got on there, but hey, they have two egg yolks in them. So either you use four of these regular eggs, uh, whole eggs, and then add two egg whites of this, or you use two of these very big eggs and then two of the smaller eggs for the egg whites. So you actually want a glass that is big enough to put them in to separate the eggs uh, from the egg yolk to get two egg whites and get four whole eggs in here and then stir it up. All right, so now that we got the eggs in, the four egg yolks, 
and the six eggs egg whites. Basically, you want to stir this up to make this uh, um, a monotone mix to put in the pan so it's much easier to make the omelet. So put your fork in here, to stir it up like this until it becomes a nice even mass to add. All right, so this is the vegetable that has slinked down in volume. This is what we're going to add, this nice liquid right here. So you have the fork, actually add this to the vegetables. All right, now you've got like this. Make sure to stir the pan a little bit like this. Stir it in the right directions, make sure that the egg goes everywhere that it needs to go. Just like that. Beautiful. And now, very important, put on a lid. All right, now you shut it down. Now it allows it to heat up from the bottom and the top at the same time. So you actually turn it over a way much easier. So right now, this omelet has about 40 grams of protein. I want to enhance my protein content a little bit in the morning, adding even a different kind of protein source. And the easiest way to do that is have a nice small shake next to this meal to fill you up even more. Let me show you how I make that shake very specifically. Okay, so for the shake, I've got my shaker cup ready. Let's fill it up with the ingredients that I love to use. So what I add first are 300 milliliters of unsweetened almond milk that makes the shake that much more creamy and it's barely any calories as you can see if it's gonna show itself 12 calories per 100 milliliters and 0.1 grams of carbs which makes it still a pretty low carb addition and then we're going to add a few grams of cinnamon, a very high grade quality cinnamon that actually enhances your insulin sensitivity. And then we've got some psyllium husk fibers that is very good for the di digestive tract. We add about 10 grams of that to this because it's not a lot of fiber compared to the amount of protein we'll be getting. And some whey complete pistachio. Man, if you smell this, you'll be amazed. Anyway, let's add all of this. To the meal, it's going to be 35 grams of this, by the way. So let's enjoy adding all of this together. Right, so this is it all mixed up. It's the cinnamon, it's the psyllium husk, it's the whey complete pistachio. And look at the color, it tastes absolutely amazing. Look at how creamy it is with the almond milk infused. So yes, this will be a delicious addition to the omelet. And let's get back to it. So within that time, the egg is pretty much almost done. And now to make it even more delicious, you can add a final touch to this omelet. So if you're in the off season or if you're not in a cutting diet, you can actually do this when cutting, of course. But if you're not in a competition diet, you can add something like this. This is actually a spread um, with herbs in it. And you can actually add little bits on here, spreading it out, making it taste very delicious, very creamy, delicious omelette. By adding this, you can also add regular cheese, of course, adding little bits here and there. You can add half a slice, slowing down the calories. You actually don't need a lot. But let me show you how I do it with this. I add 30 grams of this, and that means it only contains 30 grams of this is around three to you know, four grams of fat added, which is not a whole lot to this meal. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I added it, added some chunks of the spread on top of this omelet, and then I'm gonna slip it, actually turn it in half to make you see what you always see when you see my Instagram stories. Kaboom! And this is it. The beautiful omelet with the mushrooms, with the spinach, with the kale, with the spring onion, and in between, there is a nice layer of the creaminess. And what you don't want to do in between, what you do not want to do, is add salt. Because if you add salt in the process, the eggs will actually release their liquid. So if you're wondering, why do my eggs always look watery in the pan? It's because you already spice it up during the cooking process. So no salt. That's a tip by Gordon Ramsay, by the way. So let me show you how everything looks like on the plate. So this is the entire meal. We've got the omelet right here. Now is your opportunity to add some salt on it, some pepper if you wish. 
You've got the shake right here. You've got some water right here and a new Cyclone shaker cup that holds about 32 ounces or about a liter of water. And then to spice this up even more if you love to use sauces, we've got a brand right here, 2B Slim Sauce. It actually is a very good zero, almost zero calorie sauce that tastes good. Trust me, it does. And you've got some garlic spice, you know, let me show you how many calories it is so you don't feel guilty adding it. It's 25 calories, 100 milliliters, so on average you're probably only going to use 10 calories of sauce on this, but it makes such a world of difference. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to make a lot more nutrition videos for sure. These right here are the total macros for this entire meal. I hope you enjoyed it. Ask me down below what you want to see actually, what kind of meals. Of course, you've still got the oatmeal, the morning oatmeal, and a different way of combining them. The oatmeal hacks to make them look a lot more voluminous than they really are with low calories. There's so much more, guys, but I want to thank you for watching. And do not forget to stay golden.